Well, meanwhile, outside our studio here at Broadcasting House in London, we're hoping to resolve even more of your problems on the spot at our pop-up shop. Julia's not going to be singing in the choir tonight, but uh, she's out there with our experts. I'm certainly not. Uh, it's brass monkeys weather out here, I've got to say. The wind and the rain have decided to appear, but so have our experts. And the first one up is Sylvia Rock from the Trading Standards Institute, who's been talking about a problem with Alan Huggett. And Alan, you bought a tablet, and after 13 months it packed up. That's it not good, is it? It failed to turn on. I wrote two letters by recorded delivery to the retailer's head office, and they've never replied to me. I did point out that I thought 13 months was a bit short for a solid-state device, which should last for several years. I'm very annoyed. I think he's got a point there, Sylvia, don't you? What do you what's your take? Well, Alan's done all the right things. He's written to the retailer, and they just ignored his letters, which is a really bad way to behave. And they've also tried to hide behind the guarantee. And I would say that guarantees and warranties are an addition to your statutory rights. They don't replace them. So since he's written the letters and they've ignored him, the next stage would be to take the matter through the courts. Sue the pants off the melon. That's right. Well, uh, over here is Martin James from the Financial Ombudsman Service, and he's been talking to James Fitzgerald. And, uh, James, your mum had a problem with a gift voucher, didn't yes. she? What my, happened? My cousin bought my mother a £100 gift voucher for a shop. When my mother went to use it, the gift voucher had, in fact, expired. My mother was totally unaware that gift vouchers had expiry dates, as I was unaware. It's just uh, money, ha money doesn't have an expiry date, so we're just bemused how shops can put uh, an expiry date on your money. That it's, is uh, a point, um, Martin, but what can you do about it? Well, what can she do about it? Sadly, Julia, this is something of a cautionary tale. Um, gift vouchers do have expiry dates, and so it always pays to keep an eye on those and pop them into your diaries when you know that they're coming up. But they have to be clear, businesses don't get it all their own way. Um, and if you think that you've not been told about um, a warning, then let them know and put a complaint in. And I suppose the problem is sometimes, as you say, gift vouchers don't have anything written on them. So apart from saying it's a year and you don't know when it started. Well, absolutely. And particularly this time of year, we start to get loads of them. And it's same with gift cards, store cards. Always keep an eye on them. But if you're not sure about something, then complain. It's always worthwhile doing it. The business might recognise that there's a case to answer. Well, good point, and uh, especially good at this time of year because with Christmas coming up, I think quite a lot of you are going to be considering buying vouchers or gift cards. So it really is important to have a good look, see if it's got a date on it, and tell the person you're giving it to that, that, what, that that's what the date is. Back to you, Gloria. I have to say, I didn't mean to, but I started my Christmas shopping yesterday, so yeah, I was yeah. paying particular <laughs> attention to that. Some very good tips there. And I must say, I sympathise with that whole situation, and I'm not sure why these vouchers should even expire. The money was there in the first place, uh -huh. so you bought it fair and square. But as Julia said, it really is worth keeping all of that in mind if you're buying one. Except it takes the gloss off it a bit if you give someone a prezi and say, but you've got to use it by a particular <laughs> day, doesn't it? Or well, they come back to you and say, I wasn't able to use that. Exactly. Well, I have to say that it's great to see that today's papers are catching up with